I am Rig, son of the High King Hargurorf, and this is my saga. It all began one fateful day. My father had gathered all his yarls to make an announcement of the utmost importance. We were to embark for the wondrous lands of Northgard. Riches, conquest and glory awaited us on this mysterious new continent. But the Norns had other plans for us. Dozens of armed men suddenly poured into the hall and put an abrupt end to our ambitions and to our lives. They were mercenaries, led by a man named Hagen from the Clan of the Raven. In a matter of minutes, we were all slaughtered like sheep. All but me, barely conscious and vastly outnumbered. I had no way to fight back, so I feigned death. I seethed as he stole the map of Northgard and ripped the regal horn from my father's throne, a family heirloom and the very symbol of our royalty. I had to avenge my father and reclaim my kinghood. I had no strength left when I encountered a group of runaways of the Stag clan, led by a proud young man named Bran. Hagen's men had set his town aflame, and he had nothing left, not even his father, the clan's Jarl, who had died at the hands of the fiend, just like mine. Our common enemy had sailed for Northgard, of which he now had a map. All I could think about was finding him, to avenge my father and retrieve the regal horn. Leave had taken us all by surprise. Despite our eventful history, I decided to give her a chance to redeem herself. She told us that Hagen was but a pawn, a mercenary hired by a man known as Vedrung. He was the leader of the Boar clan, which was native to Northgard. The mystery behind my tragedy grew, but one thing became clear. This Vedrung was the mind commanding the Hand, my father's true murderer. We had finally reached the rune stone of Asgard. Whoever Vedrung was, his actions seemed to be foretold by the old scriptures etched in the stone. Svarn translated, He will want to set the men free from the yoke of the All-Father, for he does not want them to share in his feast, and to this end he will destroy Bifrost. As the wail of Yallarhun echoes through the skies, the sons of Muspel will march on Asgard. Thus the gods shall meet their fate, and the age of men shall begin, Svarn concluded thoughtfully. There was no map to Bifrost on the rune stone, but one stanza read that it was beyond Bergelmir's throat. This was a kenning, a metaphor for the icy cliffs far to the north.
Vedrung was finally in my grasp. He had failed, and we were the victors. Or so I thought. Just as I was about to end his miserable life, Vedrung smiled peacefully, betraying no hint of regret or bitterness. You are victorious, High King, he said. But you still arrived too late. Bifrost may still stand, yet the world tree has been shaken to its roots. You think you prevented Ragnarok. I say we are in the midst of it. He went on. My work here is done. The men may not yet be free from Odin's yoke, but they now know that defiance is an option. This is the dawn of a new era. Do what you will with me, spare me or kill me. It matters not. Why those words pierced my soul, I shall never know. I suddenly lost all will to kill him, realizing how futile it would be. It would never bring my father back, and he was right. Ragnarok was happening. Or rather, it is happening. This is a new era indeed. Our story is not over. It is only beginning. Northgard needs to heal, and we will be here to tend to its wounds. So, this continent we once called untamed and hostile, we shall now call it... Home. <laughs>